All right, we are ready to get started with the final talk of the day. So, show of hands, who's, who's heard some great talks today? Yeah, all right, that, that's everybody in the room. That's fantastic. We got one more really good one before cocktail hour. So, I will let you take it away, right? We're talking Thank about you. API platform architecture and hit it. Thank you. What to note before going open? Can someone guess what is behind these figures? Is it the number of API available in the world? Number of API calls made in an hour, in a minute? In fact, 19 million is the number of developers we um, have in 2019. And these figures is increasing a lot. And according to Slash Data, we will be around 45 million of developers in 2013. And it's with this figure that my management came to me. I want to target those developers. I want to target these innovators to build new businesses with our APIs. I'm uh, Francois. I'm a product manager for Amadeus. Amadeus is the biggest travel uh, IT providers in the world. We are putting in relation uh, IT uh, providers like airlines, um, rail, car rental, to, uh, in relation with travel resellers like travel agencies and online travel agencies uh, or meta searches like Kayak. And uh, so my management came to me, told me, we are working with uh, partners for years now. We have good APIs. We are happy with that. And I want now to open it to, to the world, to the those potential 45 million of uh, developers outside. So I said, OK, but we will need to think about it and uh, to see what is the main difference by working with partners and what are the difference working with those uh, open APIs users and what are their expectations. So I will today uh, present you our what we went through, what we thought about, what we and all our experience uh, before going open and to have our own open API program. So we will see the main difference between those users to see what are the impacts on the architecture, on the, open, on the API side, on the creation of the different bricks that you will need to go open, like the API uh, developer uh, portal, the admin part, and the API gateway, and what are the solutions available for you. Are you uh, do you need to open to buy a solution or to, bu to build it uh, by your own. So let's get started and let's see the main difference between both users. First of all is the number of users that you will target. In a, a partner relation, this number is limited and you have close relation with uh, those, uh, those users. You are opening your APIs to them in a manual uh, manners. On the open site, in fact, the number is unknown. And we are targeting millions of developers, but in fact, you don't know exactly, and you need to take this into account. In terms of relation that you have with uh, the developers, in partner, in partner side, you will have a close relation with them. You will have account managers who will treat them in a good way. You will be trust with them. And this has a great importance. On the open side, you, in fact, don't know them at all. And probably some of them don't want you to have a close relation with you. And you can't imagine the number of times the security guys came to me and say, OK, you want to open your APIs, but do you consider about security, how you will make sure that uh, these guys will not threat our system and to, uh, to, have to make issues for our current customers. We need to think about the needs. It's easy on the partner side to be able to uh, um, collect their requests, to understand what they need in order for you to, ev uh, to, do ev to evaluate to be able to change and to adapt the, uh, the data or your functionalities. It's much more difficult on uh, an open way, and you have to be able to monitor the usage of your API in order to understand 
all that. So what is the, the impact on your architecture? On our side, we have our great SOAP APIs working for years with our partner APIs. So my management said, okay, open this to, uh, our, to outside. But in fact, it's much more difficult, it's really difficult to integrate. And uh, this will not generate a great user experience for the developers outside. We are waiting more for new technologies, uh, technology they understand, they are and easy to uh, to implement. But for this, you need to, de to do development, and your time to market will be reduced. In Avalidus, what we have done is to continue to support our SOAP APIs. In fact, I would not be able to say to Kayak or Espedia, I'm sorry, I'm going open, and I will stop now maintaining all our SOAP APIs. This is not possible, and you will not be there in this room. Um, so on the other side, we went also to build over REST APIs, so 100% RESTful APIs, and we have also great attribute and value on, on, uh, in Amadeus on our system, and we went for a transformation from some API, SOAP APIs to RESTful APIs too. Another important imp uh, notion that you need to take into account is about scalability. I will not suggest to go uh, big at the beginning, but to open a uh, limited number of APIs that, and uh, to handle a limited number of calls, but to make sure that you, can, you are able to scale and to monitor the usage of your APIs in order to scale uh, on demand of, of the users. To handle also several versions of your APIs. It's easy when you are working with a partner to explain then what you will change the version of the APIs and uh, that they will have to migrate for a version to another. In the open world, it's much more difficult and it may take more time for all your community to migrate from a version to, to the other. So you need to make sure that you will be able to maintain and to handle those uh, several versions. And think about a test environment on our side we have completely separate the traffic coming from our sandbox with our production environment in order to secure our business and for the users that we have uh, in production. So now we have this new offer, new set of APIs. So let's go out and uh, present it uh, and to have some traction on that. But in the open world, I, world, I don't have account manager to do so. So I need to create a developer portal. This will be the relation between the developers and our uh, internal uh, assets. And for this portal, it has to, re to uh, reproduce what you are creating with uh, account managers to, pro to give your customer great experience, to present your APIs in a great way with a, a great developer experience, to publish code samples in order for them to understand what you are offering. And one of the key, key KPIs that you have to follow is to drive the time that you drive the customers to their first call. And this is really important. On the partner uh, side, you are doing a lot of things manually, and this is not sustainable in the, the open world. You have to rely a lot on automation from the oral enrollment when the user will arrive on your, on your portal to the contract signature. On our side, we are using uh, some uh, uh, online tools in order to have completely online uh, contract signature. And on the payment platform, if you are deciding with your business model to uh, have a, a payment business model. This developer portal also, as I said, has to replace like replacing your account manager, and you have to build trust with uh, those users. For that, you need to be transparent, transparent with your pricing, transparent with the number of calls that we, they are doing with, uh, uh, on your APIs, so for them, they can estimate uh, the amount that you will invoice them. To demonstrate your, uh, your expertise also in the domain, for that, we are publishing blogs, technical blogs, uh, on, on our portal, and don't forget about the support. Even if you don't have 
a really close relation with the user and some of them don't want to share much. Some others we want to share on uh, issues that, that they have and to, uh, to have your, su your support. And uh, one key element also, with all those stuff about GDPR, PCI DSS, don't forget to, uh, to put it, to have it also on, on your portal and to be compliant to that. So this is Amadeus for developers, the portal that we have built. We are continuing to support, we are offering these new open uh, APIs in the self-service, in the self-service offer. And we are also uh, continuing supporting our partner APIs in uh, the enterprise offer. And we have decided to create one single portal to offer the best uh, user experience to the new customers that we are targeting, but also for the uh, current customers that uh, are generating big business with us. So great, now we have uh, our offer. We have a promo uh, the portal to, uh, to handle it, but we need a, a key point is the API gateway. The gateway will where all your traffic coming from your APIs will come. And this uh, unique entry point will help you to manage the security around uh, the APIs, which was so key uh, in a, for our stakeholders. You will be able to uh, manage the authorization and also to protect from threats by putting quota or throttling directly on the gateway. One element that we had to consider also if we wanted to have a gateway online or on-premise. And here, uh, I will say you need to think where are your customer and where are your, your users. The developer will want great response times. And for that, your API gateway needs to be close to your users and to your data. And this is also key. Now you, are, you need to administrate all those, all those points, the API, uh, the developer platform, in order to publish your APIs and to maintain all the versioning that you will have. You need to uh, monitor the usage of uh, the APIs in order to be able to scale or to change the, um, your quota or throat length. And for this, you need an admin portal. And if you have decided to monetize the usage of your APIs, you will have also this admin portal to uh, have reports of the usage and to be able to interface them, uh, that tool with your billing system uh, internally. So now the solution will be, may I go and buy a, a solution or to build one in-house? So it's what we fought internally also, because there was time to market. And by buying a solution, we, we will reach, uh, gain in time to market and accelerate it and be outside much quicker than developing something inside. And with some little adaptation on the product, uh, we were able to uh, directly uh, uh, go outside. And there is a lot of providers. You can see here outside, there is a lot of people pr uh, proposing their solution. Or to buy. On our side, we have special business. We, we need to consider this, spe this special business, our, uh, our uh, speciality. And uh, by building an, uh, our own API, uh, our own infrastructure, infrastructure, this will help to be close to your business. But here, you need to remember that the developer is also expecting standard. So don't rely too much on your specificity, but open something uh, by uh, and being standard. And do you want to rely on a third party on this special uh, um, business that you are uh, you are doing, or you want to uh, to do it completely in, uh, uh, internally and to control everything about it, you need also to think about the knowledge. Do you have the knowledge in the company to build such platform when you decide to build it? 
and you may do something wrong uh, by doing it uh, internally. And for sure, this will uh, take uh, longer to implement. On our side, what we have decided is to create our own uh, portal, developer portal, to expose our offer to the, uh, to, to the world, uh, because we wanted to offer the same um, developer experience from the open API world to our uh, partner, partner world. Uh, we have also uh, leverage on the admin uh, infrastructure that we have previously for the partner APIs. And um, so this we have done also uh, internally, but we are uh, using uh, an API gateway uh, which is APG, in order to, uh, to uh, present and to drive all our traffic coming from our REST APIs. So how is our architecture today? We are continuing exposing our SOAP APIs to our par partners directly. We are using APG as an API gateway to expose our REST offer. This API Gateway also helps us to expose some partner APIs and to offer one single uh, experience to, uh, to the developers. We have created this developer portal in order to present our documentation and to build trust with our customers. And we have this admin portal who is managing our developer portal and the API Gateway. This platform today is successful, so we have launched uh, last year. We have 10,000 uh, new users on the platform, our, around 5,000 of uh, application in test, and uh, 100 of application in production, and we start to uh, monetize and to have return on, the, on investments. So don't be scared to be open. With the right infrastructure, infrastructure you can uh, do a great business. So I'm uh, around. We have a booth in the first floor. So if you want to continue to discuss about it, I'm pleased uh, to answer your questions and uh, or around a beer during the cocktail. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. We do have some, uh, some time for questions. If there's any, anybody have any questions? Anybody at all? Oh, we got one right here. How do you, uh, how do you decide on which platform to use for uh, general? So why we have decided AP, APG uh, against? So uh, I, I was not part of, uh, of a study at, at, that, at that time, but what you need to consider is the user experience, but uh, the time response times that you will uh, have, the price, what is the business model uh, behind the, the platform in order to see if it's match your, your business. All right, we have a question here. Oh, sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So thank you, Francois, for a very good presentation. You actually inspired me with this partner APIs. I'm just wondering how do you manage that? Because you, know, you don't have an influence what these APIs are, and I believe that the partner's expectations I expectation is to be part of your offering somehow. Yes. I'm representing the bank. So for instance, you have a pretty large you know, database of all these uh, bookings and everything, and for example, we would like to be part of the payment process by delivering our you know, payment uh, API instead of using the traditional you know, uh, credit card kind of a payment. So is it possible? Is it so to be part our, of our offering and to be exposed via our part, uh, portal to, uh, to the developers is what you mean? So for payment, I don't know because internally we, as Amadeus, if we uh, talk about Amadeus itself, we have uh, our payment department with our account offer to, to the travel. Uh, but in general, partnership, you, already, you always have to uh, think about uh, what you have in-house or if it makes sense to expose uh, some APIs uh, from outside to make the best experience uh, for your developers and to create end-to-end uh, -end experience. 
Cool. All right. And did I see a hand over here? Yeah. Here, let me, I'll get you the mic. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, I had a question about uh, the support you're delivering uh, for the developer portal. So uh, what do you offer the developers? Uh, what kind of support do you offer? I saw blogs, I saw uh, just support. Is it uh, by telephone? Is it just mm -hmm. chat? Is it uh, something else? What kind of offer we have on, on the platform? And support. Oh, support. okay. Yes. So we are, um, we are uh, using Stack Overflow for all the technical questions. Uh, we have Git, uh, GitHub also, uh, a channel on GitHub to, uh, to support our, our customers. And if they are not able to find their, their way there, they are able to send us uh, 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 a request directly uh, to our developer advocates team who is taking in charge of it. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have a uh, separate uh, support team for answering questions? So we have the developer ad advocates who are doing it. And these are internal users, uh, internal from the company. company. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I saw a question here down front. Thank you. Thanks for, uh, for the presentation. I, I just want to, to ask regarding the architecture that you, you showed, the diagram, uh, how do you manage the SOAP? You kept the SOAP as, as is, but I... I assume that, the, that there are some ongoing and development, uh, publishing new ABIs and so How you are going to manage them? Especially you have customized admin admin portal, but it seems that it has nothing to do with the with the SOAP. So for for the portal itself, we are uh, entering them uh, also on the portal. So we are exposing the uh, documentation directly on the portal. The channel for support is also on the portal. But what we are not using is the gateway for uh, for our SOAP APIs. For the over, we are uh, co covering uh, the, the same thing. So the administration, when uh, uh, internal users want to publish a new SOAP uh, APIs, they will go for through this admin portal in order to, pro to publish it. But the main difference is that we are not using uh, the gateway for that. All right, and time for one more question. Oh, we got one right here. Hello, good afternoon. Um, I had a question in terms of uh, whether you could share uh, data in terms of the contribution of the overall Amadeus business that APIs have brought in terms of new revenue. Is that something that you can start sharing? Oh, in terms of, I am not sure. Maybe what's the proportion of business that Amadeus conducts today based on APIs? You know, like. Um, this is a tricky question. Uh, so, for <laughs> <laughs> um, most of our businesses is is based on on APIs. To, uh, today, we are putting in relation uh, the the airlines with uh, OTAs and uh, travel agency through through APIs. Okay. So we are doing great business on that. Now, in terms of relation, it's difficult to say. I, I don't unfortunately have this figure. Uh, now we are enriching uh, what we can do with APIs with this uh, open uh, open APIs offer. Expedia is 90%. <laughs> All right, cool. Big, big round of applause for Francois. Thank you. All right, and that concludes the design and architecture content track on day one of API Days. I want to thank you all very much for enjoying all this great, amazing content. My name's Tony Blank from Twilio, and you will catch me upstairs at the cocktail hour, all right? We all right, I'll see, I'll see you upstairs. You can see that with your socks, no? Oh, yeah, you can tell by the socks. <laughs> all right. <laughs>